Hi everyone, welcome back to the Far Fam. Come do it with me, yes you. Welcome to our new subscribers, welcome to the Far Fam. Here we know how to have fun. Stay with me and we keep it what? Real. I really wanted to come give you guys some tips and I also wanted to come talk to you guys about the pros and con, cons of wash and go. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it really real, guys. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Let's not waste any more time. So the first, and I have my, my tablet here, so if you see me looking down, that's the reason why. So a first pro, it looks cute. Even if it's not the best wash and go, it just gives you that vibes where you just feel feel yourself because it's just so nice you could do so much to it um a con icon the most crazy unbearable con other than another one that i'll mention later on is the fact that the two stranded knots are real for those who do wash and goes every week i throw my hats off to you because i cannot deal with the two strand knots they are getting on my everlasting nerves um yes <laughs> another pro is a wash and go is a base style for like multiple styles so meaning you do a wash and go you can always wear it out you could always pin it in a mohawk or frohawk you can always pin it over to the side you can always put it in a ponytail and just wear the ponytail curly obviously you could do so much styles with the wash and go so it's a pro it's a, a base style for multiple styles number two con wow talk about the gel dust though the gel dust is real like the dust is real it's annoying i don't think i've ever come across a gel that it ever gave me like no gel dust at all if you have please tell me below i'm really interested to see what gel that was um so yeah i must say though out of the two gel products i've been using which was the eco styler black um, castor oil and flaxseed oil gel and the main choice biotin infused gel i must say this is the winner concerning less gel dust okay like i did a wash and go with this and I wore it for two weeks, which I shouldn't have. And it lasts throughout one week and I had minimal gel dust. And when it led into like the second week, I could see more and more of a gel dust, more and more gel dust. And I kind of just worked my way through it. With this Eco Styling Flaxseed on Castor Oil Gel, I'm telling you. Y'all, this is a pain. The, the definition, as I mentioned in the first video, my wash and go video, comparing the two, the definition is bad like it's it's amazing but the the um gel dust i don't even know if it's really worth the definition oh maybe it is but you're just gonna have to bear with it try to work your way around it or just wash your hair out probably in the, the third or fourth day of having it so the gel dust is real y'all that's the one thing i just really hate about wash and goes i can't be bothered with that now the last it's easy to refresh and just go with a wash and go so once you have your wash and go style you wake up the next day you just spray your hair you just spray your hair with some water from the water bottle whatever you want to call this thing and just refresh the hair and just manipulate it and refresh it and i love that and you just literally just go unless you want to brush the sides in a bit or ooh, or unless you want to style it but it's really a style where you could just literally wash and go refresh and go i love that about it um it's about five minutes out of my time and i'm off to work the, the last con about a wash and go is the fact that it dries out um no matter what it is, 
our hair is really the driest hair out of all ethnicities so we just really have dry problems y'all and for me my skin is dry my hair is always dry so that's always been an issue i don't know if you have that issue comment below if your hair gets really dry when you do a wash and go because mine does